TBH fam. Right, I completely failed that I was in a game there. I don't, I don't have the sound on. No, I do have the sound on. No. Oh. Right. <laughs> what am I playing then? 990. All right, good. Orcs. Okay. All right. I don't... Oh, the sound's on really low. That was what I didn't hear. <laughs> I just didn't hear that I got a game. Holy shit. Crumpet Lords, why does he? Because he likes. Because he likes. Kelly Brook or what? A Delph team with eight blodge, a tackle and a mighty blow, wow. Fair enough, jelly deals. Yeah, I think so. I had two, which, yeah. Reels don't die, yeah. I'm not worried about the orc throwing, no. <laughs> 23 kids to. Remember that? Uh, is, uh, is that a reference to um, that movie? <laughs> that was out once in the 90s <laughs> fucking hell I can't remember that total recall isn't it total recall I've got I've got seven kids to feed uh, let's kick and see what happens yeah because then then you've got the freedom of your uh, of your your own drive then haven't you once you know what's happened this isn't a bad uh this is not a bad strip, is it, really? Don't want to be squeezed on the sideline, do I? Something like this. Someone on the stream named him Crumpet Lord, fair enough. Total recall. Don't kick, you're not playing World Championship Final. <laughs> nah, I think it's alright, because it gives you the freedom on offence to then score. Like, you know, if you know you won nil up or whatever, you can uh, you can then just take an easy score rather than having to stall it out for eight turns. So it is to make my offence easier. Um, I don't know if the Chaos would have qualified, Zuckers. I honestly don't even know, because I stopped caring, because I knew. <laughs> I knew I had to take Ogres, so I just didn't care about the Chaos then. Um, once I once I made, once that call was made for me by by Tony plays poorly and uh, the other people who donated, um, I just stopped caring about the chaos. <laughs> so, the game sound is low. Yeah, I can see that desktop audio is low. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know why it's that low. Blood Bowl's at the max. So, I'm going to put it up on here. This is this is all I can do, really, I think, for the game sounds. It's barely audible. Oh, I can turn it up in the game, can't I? I can turn it up in the game. It's alright. 
got it. But I, I shouldn't have to, because, you know, I haven't changed anything. Right. Let's go with this. You can keep me updated if that's all right or not. But I haven't changed the in-game settings. That's that's what I'm saying. So why would it have changed? I haven't changed. I haven't changed anything. No, oh, he's gone all all black oaks on the LOS, so he's gonna have whiskey blocks there. Woody's what could possibly go wrong? Everything. And now the one block that he makes with uh, with block is the one in nine. Typical, isn't it? Absolutely typical. Right, let us know if this sounds okay, please, because you know. He's got the oak throw. <laughs> oh man. He's certainly inviting the old splitting of the team, isn't he? The two the two stuns aren't Aren't very fun. Go there and get served. I still go through around there if I do this. I can blitz him. And put a line here. That protects the uh, water answer a bit, doesn't it? Got to put somebody there. Which essentially means the catcher. Which means he's got a dodge now. So I didn't move them first. Right. I don't hate it, even though you can blitz a fucking one answer in another two D, but. <laughs> Playing high risk. <laughs> That's got to be one of the best things I've heard. That high risk is is a euphemism for shit. <laughs> and it, it it's perfect because it is high. You know, high risk, high reward. You, most things that are high risk are high reward, aren't they? But by saying something's just high risk, then it's just saying it's shit. <laughs> you could get three two Ds, yeah. yeah fine. You could do that. <laughs> I'm letting people blitz my ward answers fast, not block. But it's game one, so if 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 there's any game to let people blitz your war answers, it's game one, isn't it? When they don't have any mighty blow or anything. And 
he's not really protecting the ball here at the moment, is he? I like that this guy screens off, like this guy. Oh, this guy's completely isolated, isn't he? All he can do is try to run around here. Or maybe blitz this guy to get him out. That's not bad, I guess. I don't hate it. I've got an assist on the ball there, haven't I? So two, two plus dodges to two dice the ball. Ah, oh, three. No, he doesn't need a dodge, does he? He can just go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can just stand there. And he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two, two plus dodges with dodge to hit the ball. Or alternatively, I can't really cancel that assist. Could block him down, get an assist in there. Get an assist in here. Block him. Nah, it relies on powers. I think I'll just go straight for this. I could do safe moves first, couldn't I? That's what you should do. I might dodge these guys out or just stand them up. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so I don't want to move them yet. <laughs> Catch a coin. <laughs> oh, elves. So I would need somebody to cancel that assist somehow. Could just wonder. Mm. I guess just occupying these guys is okay. And now him just occupying them is alright as well. And that. Can this guy dodge away? Mm. Probably not. Where can he go? Nowhere useful. Well, maybe I could roll some dice, but it's that's a lot of dice rolls to get to a good place. But it's a really fucking good place. And I guess if I fail, I fail. Yeah, get KO'd. But that would have been really good, wouldn't it? That would have been two more two dice blocks. Maybe that was a bit greedy and or stupid. High risk, high reward, wasn't it? That really was, because that would have been these both guys blocked then. He could have been two dice powered, he could have been two dice powered. And he would have been... It would have been there would have been a screen here. He would have been absolutely up shit creek if that had worked. Hey! <laughs> oh, dodge! Oh, he gets the follow-up block though, doesn't he? <laughs> Fucking dodge! Dodge being pretty busted. He can get the assist. No, he, not not no, not so easy. Okay, pretty easy. Just needs a push, doesn't he? Then he can get the assist in for another two. Oh, no. what's he doing? Doing random things first. Up shit creek with a paddle. <laughs> it, no, he would have been up shit creek without a paddle. I think if he yeah, still had the two D on the ball, obviously, but it would have been it'd been really good getting those two Ds in. 
Uh, he completely fucked himself there. The play obviously was to block with this blitzer and get a push to here so that he could have come in to assist this two dice block. Whereas now it's only a one dice. Thanks to this handy positioning of this line elf. He's not in a bad spot either, is he, for next turn? Oh, yeah, one dice pal, mate. Yeah. Silly me, of course he shouldn't have got the assist, the assist for it. He should have just one dice pal. Classic. Classic. Really want to scatter down. Well, I'm not, I can save. I can. Probably. Not scatter it. He can block him. And power him and follow. And then he can come in so he can two dice him away. So then he can two dice him. But then. It's just hard to clear both, isn't it? I'd quite like him to block him because he's kind of... Well, he can just dodge away though, can't he? It's all fucking... There's a lot of options, isn't there? Oh, let's start with a double skull. Fuck's sake. Like blitzing him would be good, but it's just pretty hard to get. And two dice on the ball. It's not that hard. So now that I've decided what I'm going to do after using the reroll, see that's that's why you can't always do safe moves first, isn't it? Because. The plan might change based on if you've used a reroll and stuff. Ah, oh, brilliant. What I always find fun is when your opponent makes a one dice block and gets a power, and then you make two two dice blocks and fail them both using a reroll. This is the first game T Swizzle for both of us. So I think, you know, if I'd got the power there. Or even a push. He could have come round. Well, no, a pow. On a pow, the war dancer could have dodged out and blitzed him. And then been assisting here for this block. Then the catcher could have picked it up. But now, of course, the war dancer gets cast Because I rolled a 1 in 36 and a 1 in 9 in the same turn. Brilliant. Now it's time for a little bit of muting and uh, a bit of Pokemoning. So i uh, be right back. Sometime, well, not right back. I'll be right back at the end of the match, probably, because I've got to grind out the uh, got to grind out the games like Christopher. So, yeah, brilliant. Thanks for the bits, Thor. Oh, that was interesting, wasn't it? Orc thrower. Not so amazing there. Right, I'll just blitz with this water. Oh no, he's killed the water, so okay. Um, no, I just block with that guy then. Eh? See what I might scatter to him and then out. Um, that's about as good as it was going to get. 
can clear one tackle zone by running some two pluses. Don't really want to get anyone else smashed for no reason. That's how you do it, shithead orc thrower. And what can he do? He can double GFI to hit, he can dodge to hit. Um He could go one, two, three, four, five, GFI to stop the dodge to hit. What about these guys? One, two, three, four. He doesn't even need a GFI. One, two, three, four, five. He can just straight up hit. So, about one, two, three, four, something. Just dodge, away. Just dodge out this way because it's kind of easy. Only kind of easy. I just gotta check where if Suicune Suicune must be in like the the blue thing, mustn't it? I have to check on the mortal. Now. Must be in the blue ultra wormhole. Surely. No, it didn't die. Just badly hurt. But I thought for sure it would have been a dead dancer and dead team. Wow, gee, if I had a hit with block, gets the ball down, fair enough. So we could, right, blue. Blue Ultra Wormhole is what I'm aiming for. I'm still pretty salty already this game, just because, like, sure, I was lucky to catch the sack, but he was, you know, he, he exposed the ball, didn't he? You know, he, ma he made choices that let me get the two dice on the ball, and then I was just lucky to get that. Then he did the right thing of two dicing my catcher with, with the blitzer, and... Got unlucky, fair enough. But he could have made that one dice on the catcher or two dice and just chose not to. And stuff like that is what really grinds my gears, to be honest. Like, luck's going to happen both sides, obviously, random things. You know, like he failed the one in nine pickup. That's just bad luck, isn't it? He couldn't, he couldn't make that pickup better. Um, but when people just choose to make a one dice block on the ball when they could make a two dice block on the ball. For essentially no more use of resources, that that kind of uh I'm sad when that works. So I'm not really complaining about the luck. Um you know, probably luck maybe I've been even been luckier than him so far. Maybe. But um yeah. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, double GFI. 
or we we'll can stand him up first. I could blitz out with a ward answer, I guess. I don't see anything apart from dodging around. I've got um I've got fucking things on. Got the text on now. He could come back and then I could blitz free. Cause I'm not gonna do anything. Cool. Smiley face. Don't think I'm gonna make a blitz anywhere else. So This is safer than dodging him out, isn't it? Really want the ward answer. The question is whether it's better to just go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, GFI, or whether it is better to go all, the, all around the houses like this. be better to just to go like that save a GFI at the cost of making the initial dodge harder. I think seeing as I'm willing to use a reroll on the pickup I'm going to go for this Every day, yeah, twice a day. Right. The rule of two. <laughs> now it's zero rerolls, but I mean, his orcs, orcs trying to score in three turns isn't isn't uh, very favourable, and obviously. Stack moves is fine, no Pedro Jack. The stack moves doesn't feel bad, man, because I was going for it there. Because, um, you know, I had dodge. I was going to fucking do them all anyway. I was going to go for all those moves. There was no... There was no way I wasn't going to go for, for it, you know. Yeah, Dancer's only badly hurt. Thanks God, but lost for the game. That really was quick play, kick ball, quick end zone. Eh, no, no, it was slightly more elaborate than that. It was. Uh, I think it was better to make the 2 plus dodge rather than the 3 plus. No, it wasn't, was it? Ah, uh, maybe it was. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know whether it was right. Maybe I should have done the first dodge. Oh, there's a deadline now, anyway. Mm 
touchback pretty huge from as well. Though he didn't get as far forward as he could have done. I can elf screen him. No, I, I didn't miss the centre. No, I always, I always click off in the centre, and then quite often, uh, quite often, quite often, uh, it it goes out of bounds. Yeah, because it goes six. It, the centre is like it's thirteen squares, so even if you click the centre, it can go six, and then it's three out of eight after six. What's so. happened to Jenny? Fantastic. She's about one in twelve, nearly one in twelve to get a touchback, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Tony. <laughs> I do remember when the time it was bad kick, yeah, it was brutal. Hello, Ogre Throw Brandhill. Uh, how the ogres look? Uh, they look alright. I've still got I've got a skill to pick before the before the first round of the playoff, which is nice. So I could go stand firm or something else depending. Right. You can go there. You can go there. Obviously he can he can make a blots. Oh, a bit risky, wasn't it? I should have probably moved that guy first. But I didn't really want to move him though, so He's there, I guess he could have gone there first. Yeah, it's tough for the Orcs to get forward here, isn't it, really? Pretty easy. I mean, so this is where somebody might want wealth screen here and, like, you know, put two there and two there, making extra dodges rather than just taking that two dice block. That that's where I think the L screen is bad, you know. Like that guy was there to get the assist. Some people might have just dodged him away to to make a full L screen here. And you don't need a full L screen. You just need, you know, screens and people behind the screens. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. You don't have to L screen correctly, as some people would say. Uh, the old uh, you talked about last night. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. There you go. A bounce out in nice weather on the centre kick. I don't know about in nice weather to be honest, but if, if there's just a uh, bounce out in nice weather, if there, if there's no weather change, it's nearly one in twelve, isn't it? Alright, Jelly, all the math chan. Okay. I think he's trying harder now. I'm certainly taking longer.
No, it's not even that far behind. It's not about it being a joke. It's just like some people would like make a GFI to make a proper, if you like, elf screen, and you, you just don't need it, do you? Most of the time, like this, this here was just as good as like a a correct elf screen, wasn't it? You know, like it's basically just as good as if they were as if it was in a kind of proper formation. That, that's the point. I mean, it's still obviously it's turn six, you know. Um, so it's certainly the time when I want to make it uh, hard for them to get past. He's only got one scoring threat at the moment, doesn't he? Messy, messy potatoes. So it's a two plus to get two dice in the ball. Wow. Literally can't believe it worked. Obviously have to reroll this if it's not a power. It is a power. Okay, so now is is the it's the scoring threat, isn't it? Um, he could make dodges. And become a good scoring threat. He could go three two. I think it's better to do with him. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Pretty exciting. Would like the scoring threat out there, that would be pretty pretty neat. I guess I could have just moved this guy eight across. But there was a chance to make GFIs with him, wasn't there? And stuff. And dodges with other people and all sorts. All sorts of things were possible. Probably haven't broken armor now, probably not, but I mean, don't expect to do it against dogs. Yeah, obviously, yeah. 1 0, I'm, I'm fine with 1 0, obviously, but it was just a shame that it was pretty easy to get a scoring threat there, wasn't it? And now it's. Uh, that ended. Is 
it's all rolls to even do anything. Try to make a blitz, a blots. Oh, I could probably tried for the surf here, couldn't I? That would probably be in the best player. One, two, three, four, double G. Nah, I guess it's unlikely. Let's try to get a 2D. Don't want to re roll it because I'll get them both down. And die. But yeah, obviously one on defense is one nil ahead. <laughs> Starting on defense is is pretty amazing most of the time. But it's just a shame to not have the chance to go two nil up. Yeah, Mystic John, this is the first game because I I, f I forgot when it started. I forgot when the ladder started. Like it is. I thought it was midday. GMT, but obviously it's midday French time that it started. Kills have been good, yep. Yeah. Yep, to be fair, taking a few kills, they've all come back. The Kaz, Kaz on the Warlands obviously so, but only badly hurt, so it's okay, isn't it? And this isn't going to be particularly a fast score, it's just going to be score score when I can using as few rerolls as possible That's Sage's team, isn't it? He, he had that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna steal his team now. These I just want to go directly ahead so that I'm making less blocks. So, you know, without blocking, without block, it's just a chance to roll a one in nine. Wouldn't have re-rolled that, but with the having the extra one, it makes it possible, doesn't it? Maybe I could have tried to get someone through the middle for a cheeky handoff layer, but got plenty of time, haven't I? Like a hundred teams called more than one day. More than football. More wood for the fire. No sat field, no, I'm not I'm not one of those people. If I'm if I'm two nil up, I'll farm. But at one nil up, no farming. Also, only two rerolls, well I had three there, but you know, no skills. Once you've got a load of bludge and you know you've got built in rerolls and everything, or if you've got three rerolls and you're two nil up like that. That's the thing, if I'd gone two nil up then, um <laughs> 
you know, if it was if I was two 0 up already, if I'd made, if I'd made the defense the second defensive score two 0 up, then you can go for loads of passes because even if you get stung, it's all right, isn't it? But I, I really don't like to uh, go too crazy. Hmm. Maybe we should try to go down one side because he's slow. And he's got two black orcs on that side, so. This is tough, isn't it? When you've got no, no fucking dodge on like normal people. He could blitz him, and then he could block him. Then there's a space through if they're both pals. So, oh, that's a one D, isn't it? Duh. Duh. I think I want to go over this side just to leave those two off. There's no real way to do it. Or protecting the ball. Which fucking sucks. You could dodge out and blitz him. It's fucking horrible this, isn't it? <laughs> like, because without bludge on people... You just get stuck places, don't you? What would have been better is if it had the catcher over this side. And obviously, he's got the reroll and the dodge out. I guess he can go here. I'm somewhat safe. Still gonna blitz even if I use the rear on the I'm gonna blitz if I use the rear on the dodge. <sighs> you can block him with trace him up anyway, so yeah I guess I have to I guess guess I have to dodge somebody first, don't I? Absolutely banged on. Probably should have followed him on the off chance of getting two dice on him. I think I can just one dice him though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, ball's pretty safe. Alright, go for the classic one dice. Yeah. Of course it is. Obviously, if I'd rolled a pow there, it would have been amazing. Maybe I should have followed him, but then the dodge would have failed anyways. Six and two threes. But obviously, a pow there would have been amazing because it would have been two dice on him. And then he could have dodged further upfield. So that would have been really nice to have done that. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, good luck, Mystic John. Look here, don't make it. Yes, like I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and win five nil every game. The goal is to win every game, isn't it? Not, not win five nil. There's no. There's no points for style. Good thing is these two are out for a turn, and he's out for a turn. So, a player up for one turn, can it be translated into anything? He 
can hit the ball, but he can't get two dice on the ball, can he? Like, if he hadn't blocked himself, he can't, he can't really get two dice on it. And it's against Blodge anyway. So he can be a bit loose with uh, Woody's. That, that skull, that skull leading to a kill. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, block, block early for sure because at low TV teams don't have block. And then at high TV, I like wrestle because your worst match is against dwarves. And, uh, you know, wrestle helps more than dodge against dwarves, really, I think. And more than block against walls. So I tend to go block, so I've got a few guys, you know, block on the LOS and then wrestle after that. Hmm. I'm just early on, so I've got three blocks with the LOS, you know. Well, these two stuns and a KO are bad times, aren't they? Could one dice blitz, then potato. <laughs> That's a sure way to fail, isn't it? Just run away. Try to roll some dice. Guy most likely to hit the ward answer, isn't it? Get another one in nine. Classic. No, I don't like. I don't like kick. Ever. Well, kick on a ward answer if he rolls all normal. I just like block, so you can actually block people and not both down and and turn over like that. <laughs> You know, I want block, some block, so I can make some blocks. <laughs> and then I want, and then maybe, then maybe some dodge, and then lay on, go wrestle first. But it all depends, you know, it's all quite fluid, depending on how many catches you've got, how your catches have leveled up. All that sort of thing. But I generally don't like it. I just don't like using a skill slot on a player for something that will affect, you know, affect the game once. Even though it can be good, you can also just randomly get a good kick anyway, can't you? I'm going to have one standing player, aren't I, at the start of the next turn. <laughs> Pretty banged on, yeah, no gold. Pretty, pretty banged on, I would say. One standing player. For me, blocking barbecue sack. I mean, yeah, obviously I would have wrestle on the LOS, but I want block for them for making blocks on the LOS as soon as possible. Two ward answers, 
freak. Um, there was a brilliant coaching event, and the wall answer has been badly hurt. No deaths, thank God. Yeah, but then, but then you don't need it, do you, Satterfield? That's the thing. If you're scoring fast all the time, then first of all, you've either got a flawed strategy, or you're playing scrubs that you're slaughtering. And either way, you don't need, you, you know, you don't need it. This is rough, isn't it? This is fucking rough. God, even fouling. If he gets sent off, though, that, that's one out quite easily. So the only player that can get out easily is this guy and this guy are the two options. He could get out and potato over here. He's still, he's still blitzable though. I don't see how I get any cover for him. He could dodge to there. He could blitz, then he could dodge out on threes. I mean, that's horrible, isn't it? There's just no way out. He can get to here. And then pass, but that just seems crap, isn't it? <laughs> I can stand up the catcher and he could blitz him and tag him and then then what? I don't know. It's not looking too good, no. No, starting your turn with one standing player, amazingly, not not ideal. I have to go for these dodges here. <laughs> Roll a one on the first one. Brilliant. Sideline cage, we're now in two dodges, three dodges to get round. The serve makes it too easy though, doesn't it? I can't make it too easy for him. The dodges happen. He's just have to stand up. Tim to use the reroll so early. This is fucking rough. Fucking rough. <laughs> as long as he only rolls one dice, he's in with a shot. <laughs> That's true barbecue, so. <laughs> I have exposed him to the one the one dice, which is actually more dangerous than the two dice, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Not only would a two dice against against Blodge not knock him over the reroll, a one dice is guaranteed not only a pow but an injury as well. Shit.
Yep, one reroll for four turns. So I've had some, well, I say bad dice this half. That, that one in nine, I felt I had to reroll. I felt like reroll at two plus. Um, yeah. He's going to do the dodge. Dodge for two dice on the ball. Or double GFI. You can make a double GFI, can if he goes around. Should have gone around. Is he in the stream? Am I helping him here? Should have to keep quiet now. I think he's, maybe he's in the stream. I think I've given him the play that he missed. Now. No, I didn't. He just just decided to do something shit instead. So this this guy who blitzed could have gone round here. Couldn't he? he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, and then double GFI'd. He could have he could have cancelled the assist. Inari wouldn't roll any ones and uh, <laughs> would have won 17 nil. Yeah, I would have been 2 0 up with some better dice at the end of the first half. And obviously, 2 0 up. This isn't even worrying me, 2 0 up, is it? Um, <laughs> not really, Senai, you knocked out. <laughs> First time you were punched, you knocked, got knocked out. He could dodge, then he could blitz, run up here, then he could block, then he could dodge out on a 2+, plus, then he could run away and pass. That seems a lot of bullshit, though. Could just dodge out. One, two, three... One, two, three... GFI to punch doesn't seem like a good idea. Dodge out to screen him though seems like a grand idea. One, two, three, four. He can go to there. So. One, two, three, four, and then he can GFI to here. Yep, that seems the best idea. Alright, phew. Oh, he's got all this stuff here. Ah. That's problematic, isn't it? So you can 2 plus, 2 plus to get a scoring threat. That, that's the scoring threat way, isn't it? Um, ideally, you would like to get... Oh, he can blitz there, can't he, if he dodges? If he wants to blitz with him, then he's not going for the ball with him, which is fine. Like if he wants to serve him. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. And then one, two, three, four, five. GFI. So three GFIs to two dice him. Means there's a chance of not having the reroll and the hit. Cheeky canoring threat.
Did a good job not dying, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Leap is fun, but yeah, not not usually a good option. Leap out. I mean, leap, leap is obviously, it's very strong once you get plus agility, yeah. Ah, so it's only two agility fives, fair enough, you, you worked out about that somewhere. Yeah, agility five, it becomes amazing, yeah. Yeah, leap agility four isn't that good, but leap agility five is amazing. And obviously leap with slam catches is amazing. Yeah. I right, got the scoring threat though, so if he doesn't this time at least if he doesn't power the ward on so he can just run away pass and, and score. Can't base him without a GFI. Right, double GFI for Orc Throw Glory. Basically, Slan are just like a shit Beastman team for a, a long time. <laughs> really funny. funny team, Slan. Yeah, exactly, Gunnarkin, yeah, that's it. Oh, he did make the GF5 a base. Shithead. That was, that was another thing that he could have. And when I say shithead, obviously I mean um, Grimsel, the lineman, on the pitch. I'm not actually calling the human person a shithead. Um, ah, he's gone for a dodge GFI, just make choosing to make it harder. Oh, it wasn't GFI, it's still harder though. Still gets the power into two tackle zones. One dice him. And then dodge around with him. And pass. And it's fucking horrible, isn't it? It's fucking horrible. What, uh, what else can I do? If I'd powered him, I could have gone for the pass with him. Now I've just got to go for the pick up and run away, haven't I? <laughs> he blitz me into another block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can get to there. I shouldn't have gone here. Shit. 
Because that's too good that you can just blitz into another 2D hit, isn't it? So I've got to make the GFI. Maybe I just need to be here. No, I think I need to be there. Hmm. I'm gonna let a guy there. It's not good, is it? Can't re roll this, so this is just looking horrible. Can't re roll anything. He could double GFI to there at the end. I'm giving up on the on the second touchdown now. All right. Good rolling, good dice rolling that turn. It's hard for me to get two dice, isn't it? Obviously, you can get one dice, but. Made it hard to get two at least. <laughs> Eventually, probably three free, because then you've got your rule of five, haven't you? Of the two war answers and three catches. I think he's not removed, though, is he? The scoring threat, because the scoring threat can still can still get there with two turns. Unlikely, but still. I wonder he is worse, yeah. The Hail Mary pro uh, I wouldn't have though, because I would have had to have done the recovery with... Uh, I'd have to do like 4 plus dodge and stuff with the uh, catcher, it would have been really rough. Having to do the recovery, like dodge-wise. If it had been a power, I might have gone for the Hail Mary, but... Without getting the power on the initial block, it would have been a 4 plus dodge from the catcher to get through that way. At least now these woodies have got two plus dodge outs to protect the ball. Potentially. Time for the one dice, pal. Okay now. Surf him. <laughs> All three guys can get out here on the two plus count. Now, which is good. 
He's out on a two plus with a reroll. Used the reroll here, haven't we? Got fair. Should have moved him first. No, I can GFI twice him at the end. Yeah, alright. Things can happen if dice if rerolls aren't used. Which they are, obviously. Alright, so now I can't make this dodge. Oh, reroll. He can blitz the ball for one dice, so he can dodge out. Stop it. get through here kind of easily not really well this would be a good place to stand wouldn't it right here no oh, the last one got him Yeah, frenzy can be good. Frenzy can be good. It's better in better in NAF style when they've only got one skill. But I think seeing as obviously you want to in this kind of format and like leagues and that, you want to uh you want to level your war dancers to more than one skill. And you know, like because you're stacking skills on them it's not it's not as good. That, what my answer would to to frenzy would be there. God, it's been fucking rough. Yeah, strength four frenzy is a lot better, obviously. Clicking must have been. GG. Oh, I just realised that that's what he's. He said things and I haven't even seen them. Where are they? Well, if you can't pick up the ball twice with safe hands, it's pretty much over, I guess. GG. Misclick. GG. Maybe. Can still he can still win. He's still got scoring threats. It's not over at all. I mean I've just fully potatoed out here. Which four, five, six, seven, I mean it's a bit risky, isn't it? <laughs> this potato that I've made. Without re rolls. But he's got to do a lot to benefit from it. Oh, thank 
God for that. Now it's a now it's a one dice with no recovery, isn't it? Pretty much. So that's what I was thinking when I made this. But when I made this potato, I thought if I screen it off, it's amazing. And then I realised I didn't have a fucking reroll, so it was uh, it became absolutely fucking terrifying. But. Now it's pretty safe, isn't it? Pretty safe there. GG. I can see it now. Whew. Good morning, warning grenade. I guess he's got a four plus dodge into a two. Don't he? Yeah, actually dodging through the screen with a with a black hawk is his best play, isn't it? Tick frenzy, but only have a kick. No, I think it's I think it's really good. You don't it does they don't need to be against bad players to be honest. Uh, it's huge. Yeah, it's about the place it stops making. Yeah, exactly. Um, I honestly I really like frenzy in. In NAF style, but I really don't like it in um, with progression. That's it, basically. There's only one a potato, and it is well. There's two. You can either start off with this one, which is two ward answers, catcher, two rerolls, or you can do the Inarian zero reroll build, which is very risky. I'll be doing a Wood Elf Pro Tips, uh, not Pro Tips. This is Pro Tips. I'll be doing a Wood Elf Guide probably tonight. So I can upload that, and then this can be a follow-up to the Wood Elf Guide. So yeah, two two min two min starts, and get an apple. So I guess don't need to reroll it. Sixteen AV bricks to one. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, yeah, f giving up fifty blocks not good, is it? But survived kind of. So no skill ups and a journeyman already, but a win is a win, isn't it? Even though it was only a one nil win <laughs> with a catcher getting SPPs instead of, and it was the MVP, of course, of course it was an MVP. So I might have to keep him instead of a journeyman now if he gets like block or wrestle to stand on the LOS. He'll probably be better than a journeyman, so I guess I'll have to. Well, I would keep him for now anyway. So. An unexciting win for Wood Elves there, but there you go. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.